again, everyone, to another episode of Geek Tech Industries live stream. Uh, we are here tonight, uh, giving you a well, a, a little preview of the Arc 170. I guess it's not a preview so much as our take on the Arc 170. Yeah, the the Arc has a lot of special stuff that it can do. Um, mainly, it's pilots. Yeah, the the ship itself. Isn't that bad? I mean, it's a two one six three, so eh, not bad. And then the Alliance rare, Overhaul. Yeah, the Alliance Overhaul, which is kind of the same thing as the Thai SF Special Forces Ops title. Yep. Giving you an extra dice on the front arc and uh, changing one of your focus results on the rear arc to a crit. Yeah. Um. So. Basically, from the front, it's going to shoot with three dice. Unless it's close range, it's going to shoot it with four dice. Um, the rear arc is going to be two dice. Unless close range, it's going to be three dice. But you get that extra crit. Extra crit if you have a focus. Well, so so a focus gets turns, turned into, to, a crit. turns into a crit. Um, it's kind of like uh, the, the proton torpedoes does. Yep. Um, so... The great thing about the arc, though, is not its stats, because its stats are kind of mediocre. Uh, yeah, kind of middling. I mean, it um, does have a lot of hit points. Okay, nine hit points for, for a small ship. That's not unprecedented. The, the K-Wing has Same nine idea. hit points with one agility yeah. and a two uh, primary. Uh, so same stats as a K-Wing. Um, the great thing about these ships, though, is they have... A decent dial. Um, I would compare it. Uh, I would compare it favorably to the Hawk. Yeah. Yeah. Similar, oh, yeah. It's a much better dial than the Hawk. Similar to the Special Forces tie. Yeah, the Special Forces tie has an edge because it can do S turns, but but Special Forces tie I don't believe can do K turns. Uh, I'm I, not I can't sure. I'd have remember. To I don't think they can K turn, whereas the Arc can actually K turn. Yeah. And it's a it's a four speed K turn, so it's not like super fast K turn. It's not like a, a super slow K turn. It's kind of in the middle. Yeah. Uh, but it's still a K turn, which um, gets you gets you turned around. Which yeah. Which which the Hawk can't do. The the um, you know the other ships that can stop, uh, like the the shuttle. Yeah. Um, the Omicron shuttle and the and the uh, and the the YV six six six. No K turn. They can stop, but no K turn. Um, Very few large ships that have K turn. Actually, now it's one of the new ships that have a rear firing arc. So it's it's I believe it's the first Rebel ship, small ship with a rear firing arc. I believe so. I it, think you're right in that it is I, the first Rebel ship to have the dual arcs like that. Yeah, and yeah, I think it's the first rear arc uh, alliance or Rebel ship, um, and it's on a small base. So that's kind of cool. Um, so hold on, let me. So why don't you tell us what you actually brought today? With okay, so crazy shenanigans. So so I was looking through the pilots. Um, the two top tier pilots for the arcs actually have some good synergy between them if they fly together. You betcha. Uh, so Nora Wexley, she her pilot ability is when attacking or defending, you may spend a target lock you have on the enemy ship to add one focus result to your roll. You might think, well, that's meh. But if you have a target lock mm -hmm. and a focus, it's not meh. It's adding, you're adding an extra hit result in a sense. Yeah. So her her counterpart, Shara Bay, her pilot ability is when another friendly ship at range one to two is attacking, it may treat your blue target lock tokens as its own. Hey, awesome. That'll work great with Nora because Nora will take a focus and then use one of Shara's target locks when yep. shooting. Now, she spends that target lock to add an additional focus result. She has that focus token. Mm -hmm. She could potentially get, from her front arc, she could potentially get five hits. Yep. Now, I had to throw in a... a third ship because I couldn't pump them enough to make them 50 points each. And that would be, <laughs> no, that would be kind of crazy. I actually tried, and I'm like, no, this ain't gonna work. Um, so, a, a ship that I thought might fit quite well with them is 
is a Y wing with the with the pilot Dutch Vander. Yep. Because his pilot ability is after executing or after acquiring a target lock. It's not after doing a target lock min action. It's no. after acquiring after a target lock. Choose another friendly ship at range one to two. The chosen ship may immediately acquire a target lock. So there's no actions there. It's acquire. I can see how that's going to go nicely with Shara. So, so the philosophy here is Nora has, I put, I put uh, recon spec on her to give her two focus tokens when she takes a focus. Call. I put the R7 astromech on her just because this is target lock shenanigans, so I wanted to keep that theme. <laughs> and the R7 astromech is once per round when defending, if you have a target lock on the attacker, you may spend the target lock to choose any or all attack dice. The attacker must reroll the chosen dice. Great extra defense. Yeah. Uh, I put VI on her just to bump her to a nine. And Alliance Overhaul, because that's a no-brainer that costs nothing, and you get an extra dice out of your front arc, or an extra, or, or a focus turns into a crit out of your rear arc. It's a no-brainer. You if, must put that on. If you're not putting Alliance Overhaul on the arc, something is wrong with your brain. Because it costs nothing. Yeah. And it's the only title that there is available to them right now, so, yeah. Put it on there. Um... Now, Shara Bay, what I did with her is some target lock shenanigan. Uh, doesn't matter if she's stressed. Doesn't matter if she's bumping. As long as she does a red maneuver, she gets a target lock. And so you combine that with stay on target. Yeah, because I put targeting astromech on her. Yep. So that's after you execute a red love maneuver, you acquire a target lock. I love stay on target, targeting astromech. I, I think it's a great combo. Yeah. Stay on target allows you to change your direction, not your speed. So you got to choose the same speed, but it's like, oh shit, I'm going to be facing the wrong way. Well, I'll just crank my dial over to the right instead of to the left. Oh, bank it's to the left. a red it's maneuver right. now. Um, oh, I did a red maneuver, so I get a target lock. And then I put weapons engineer on her to give her two target locks when she target locks one on two separate ships. You bet. And then, of course, the Alliance Overhaul. Um, on Dutch, I it's kind of a real simple stripped-down build. Iron Cannon Turret. It's a nice weapon, range 1 to 3. Yep. So there's no donut uh, no, ball. 1 to 2. No. 1 to 2. Oh, right. Uh, range 1 to Iron Cannon. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking of the cannon. Uh, 3 dice. If you hit, you do 1 damage, and you, you put on yeah. a, uh, uh, an Ion Token. Take. Uh, R5K6 is his astromech, and that is after spinning your target lock, roll one defense dice. On an evade result, immediately acquire a target lock on that same ship. You cannot spin this target lock during this attack. He don't care. He just wants to acquire another target lock to allow one of his buddies to get to a, target a target lock, lock. which is potentially share a big, and then she gets the target lock to other people. Yeah. And then everyone else can use her target locks. Yeah. So this should be interesting. This is... A lot of target lock shenanigans. I don't know if it's even viable, but <laughs> it's gonna be fun. No it's gonna what. be crazy you know, to try and track all the target lock usage. I have the same feel about my list, so don't feel bad. Yeah, I mean this potentially, this could be six, seven potential a target lock acquisitions per round. Seven, <laughs> <laughs> if it all kicks off. Man, okay. That's going to be awesome. And now, really, we don't know if this is going to be a, a competitive list or not. We just want to showcase the pilot abilities of the top two aces. On yeah, this. so so they have they do have synergy between them. Yeah. So uh, against him tonight, I brought uh, a variation of the party bus, uh, a pilot that I have never seen anyone play in this case. So I brought Lats Razzy. Uh, she's a, a five pilot skill. On the Trand Ocean Slaver, so standard tranny, uh, 3166. Uh, plenty of slots for upgrade, of course. Uh, her ability is when a friendly ship declares an attack, you may spend a target lock you have on the defender to reduce its agility by one for that attack. And so potentially I could take his ships and make them have no agility. Yeah, well, because they only have one agility anyway. Exactly. So on that, of course, uh, I put, uh, in this case, the Ion Cannon. So within her primary arc, she's going to be able to shoot that ion cannon, uh, potentially slowing him down, uh, stopping him from getting his uh, um, 
uh, maneuvers with the targeting astromech on Shara. Uh, for crew, I went with the K4 security droid, who, uh, when she executes a green maneuver, that's going to let her acquire a target lock. Uh, pair that up with the weapons engineer. Oh, that sounds familiar. So the <laughs> weapons engineer, of course, lets you get two target locks, yeah. one on you know, on uh, two separate So opponents. more kind of target lock shenanigans going on. Exactly. And then finally, Dengar, who's like a living predator, basically. Yeah, uh, pred a predator case, versus aces. But in this case, lets me reroll up to two dice versus aces yeah. as opposed to just one dice. Now, I also put the feedback array in case he gets in behind me. And uh, when I had this all built, I was like, huh, one point. Should I go for bid? Nah, screw it. And so I thread a <laughs> missile in there, the thread tracers, to hopefully get some more target, <laughs> target locks early in the game. And which, which actually you might need because um, your fours go first. So they potentially might not have an opportunity to get a target lock. Well, the five might. We'll, we'll see. It, it, it should be interesting. Yeah. So And then uh, I paired that up with a pair of hired guns. Uh, so Y-Wings at four pilot skill, uh, gave them guidance chips, auto blaster turrets, unhinged astromech, and some plasma torpedoes to launch in the early game. The idea is that uh, for the uh, initial joust, they get their target locks going, they launch those, they hit hard with their plasma torpedoes, and then they get those and just fly around the enemy, blasting them with the auto blaster turrets and hopefully tearing yep. them to shreds. Yep. Uh, so <clears throat> we'll see. I've, I've never seen anybody fly lats. Um, uh, I wanted to, I've been wanting to fly this list for ages, for weeks and weeks. Now's the time. Yeah. I saw one person fly lots to, uh, epic fail. To epic fail. To epic fail. Was this, uh, Mikey? Uh, no. Uh, I forget his name. He had lots with a bunch of crew. He that... had a real expensive lots, which, well, I mean, that's, I that is pretty, pretty too. close to an expensive lots. I mean, that's pretty comparable. 30, you know, like a. Ooh, wow, 35, 36, uh, 40, <laughs> 52. Wow, yeah, so half, sorry, your, half your list. Sorry, 48. Um, and I saw his lats get taken out in the very first round. What? How did, how did somebody deal 12 damage to her? Andrew oh. did eight Points. And then follow up. And then a of shots. whoever the other ship was. See, that's the only thing that worries me about this list is the super low pilot skill. All of your guys are going to get to shoot before mine. Yeah, but you get to move before mine. There's there's a benefit to moving first. Yeah, we'll see. I'm, there's I also mean, a disadvantage to moving. Hopefully, first. I'll be able to use them as as a I know, bump and grinding. Yeah. and doing some doing some blocking. So we'll yeah. see how that goes. I mean, your Y wings are definitely going to turn into blockers as soon as they get their ordnance off. They're like. In your face, bump into me, get as close to me as possible. Well, and that's the hope, is that I can get that ordinance off early and then just get into hitting you with the auto blaster yeah. and just yeah. hit you. Um now, so we'll see, we'll see. I mean, I've got a lot of I've got a lot of synergy in my ships, um, totally working with each other, and even removing one ship is not gonna break synergy. Uh, there's still like there's separate synergies between the three ships. Um, I could slow down your synergy by going for Sheriff first. Yes, but I don't think I'm gonna go for Sheriff first. There, I don't know what the best choice here is. Neither do I. So I'm just gonna go with um, what, what comes up. Yeah, I mean they're all easy to hit. Yeah, I know. Um, it's the battle of the uh, no defense dice tonight. Yeah, we're all at one. We're we're all about the attacks. It's mm -hmm. not about defense. Yep. And you got some great target lock synergies. I got potentially some good target yeah, lock synergies. Yeah, so, so. so this could be a lot of accurate hits with no freaking defense. So they, it could be really fast. We could just blow each other up and be done in half. Could end up that way. So uh, we already determined the initiative. We're both 100-point lists. We did a roll-off, and I won the initiative roll. Uh, so as you can see, we placed our debris. Uh, we've already placed our ships. Uh, Zealot still needs to dial in. I've dialed oh, myself in. Yes, I need to dial. Uh, let me just double check my dials, make sure I'm not flying the wrong way. Okay, those guys are good. And she's good. Actually, you know what's funny? Mm -hmm. Is the, uh, the arc dial is really similar to the Y-Wing dial. Almost identical. Mm -hmm. So that'll make them easier to fly together. Well, honestly, I, I with unhinged astromech on these guys, it actually they have a very similar dial to the um, uh, YB six 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 as well. 
So we will see how that goes because they are not maneuverable, super maneuverable at low speed, but those red three turns are now green with the unhinged astronaut. Yeah, the, it helps. So that definitely gonna, helps. That's going to help me sort of come, you know, circle around you and potentially blast you with those auto blasts. Yeah, that's the one thing the scum has an edge on is their is their unhinged astromech. Um, Rebels have something close, but it's only one and two speed maneuvers. To the R2 astromech. Yeah, exactly. Which, on a Y Wing, I think you get, what, two extra green maneuvers it's, because of it? I don't find it. I find, I, it's I, funny I, that it comes with the Y Wing because it's not worth putting on the Y Wing. And the droid that is worth putting on the Y Wing is unique. And to, to, uh, yeah. really, you should only go on the one. So. Yeah, and. and Let's face it, unhinged astromech on, on the scum Y-Wing is awesome. It turns a red maneuver into a green maneuver. Shh. That's awesome. Yeah. For one point. Okay, so with that said. With that said, I'm all dialed up. You're I'm ready to go? I'm ready to go. Get the okay. timer going. All right. Now, those of you who wonder what the heck's up with the timer, um, it is ostensibly for tournament time, but really it's just to keep us from playing three-hour games. Like yeah. Three. Yeah. Otherwise, we're like, oh my god, did we go that long? Okay, so, you ready? I'm ready. I will move first. You will. And you so will, I'm gonna damn. And reveal uh, number 50, 56 over here. He's going to do a bank three. Yep. Nice green maneuver for him. Get himself in there. And he will take a focus. And then the other one here is also going to do a bank three. Mm-hmm. Get himself moving good, nice and fast. Pointing at the right direction, I hope. And, and then last but not bumps. least, Lats is going to do a bank one. Oh. Which uh, might actually be a bump. No, but no, no, not, not a case. one. If it was a two, yes. And that lets her stay close to them while also being not running into them. All right, so there are my maneuvers. She is going to take a focus. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start off with Dutch. He does a three straight. And I attempt to target lock. Well, we both can see that that's ridiculous. So I'll just focus. And Shara also does a three. And she knows Dutch is too far away to stop it. <laughs> can't get it in the nubbins, can no, you? No, I know. That's a problem. Jeez. That's a significant problem. Okay. And uh, she'll just focus, which gives her a focus. Yeah. <laughs> just then, a focus. This isn't Nora. <laughs> and then Nora drops her dial and blows up. Oh, oh flies off the board. What the hell, man? Oh. I can and, only be that lucky. Oh, shit. I'm facing the wrong way. No, just kidding. <laughs> and I fly directly off the board. <laughs> what do you mean I can't fly backwards? Now, that would be a pretty cool maneuver. We, yeah, that would be weird. Like a, an elite pilot. Like a, 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 disc, a discardable what? pilot ability. That just lets you move backward one. One. As an action. What? And then you got to discard it. What? Yeah. I, I, think, I think it would be pretty useful I on a bunch of shit. I think it could be interesting, yeah. Uh, and she'll focus... Recon spec gives her a second focus. Okay. All right, nobody's in range, so yeah. we, to, uh, we, yeah, we, we knew we, that we was going to happen. Sweet. Okay, I've already set my maneuvers because it's pretty straightforward what I'm going to do. Okay. You're going to move first, so that means you're moving one. So while Zealot's setting my, his maneuvers, I just want to talk briefly. Um, there is a tournament upcoming. Uh, we have the, a couple of X-Wing tournaments coming up here in November. I believe there is uh, one in late November out at Everything Games, which is going to be fun. Uh, the one that I'm more excited about because we're going to be running it 
is uh, a tournament on the 19th of November uh, down at Triple Play, uh, the X-Wing uh, Winter Classic, as they're calling it. Now, uh, we're going to be doing something a bit different down there in that uh, we will be uh, doing uh, this sort of thing where we're doing the live stream. Well, we won't be live streaming. We will be recording a match on every round. Uh, while also doing a winner's circle at the end of each round where we talk briefly with the winner of that match. Uh, so if you are interested at all, come down, uh, triple play, down on Wharf Street, uh, here in beautiful Victoria, BC, uh, 19th. Go check it out on Facebook. It's in, you can see it on their uh, page on triple play. Uh, and also in the Capital City X-Wing community. Uh, on Facebook as well. So go check that out. Uh, we post our videos there as well, so it's a good place to get caught up. Lots of lots of uh, good players in there looking for games. So if you're in the Victoria area and you're looking for some games, get on in. You're dialed in? I'm dialed. Okay. You're fours. So my fours. I'm going to reel this guy first. He's moving yeah. a forward three. Oh, wow. I was expecting a slow roll. Nope. He wants to get up in there and drop that ordinance. And then he has to get close to use the turret. So there you go. One higher gun. Uh, that is 55, so he'll take a focus. I'm going to reveal this guy. He's going to do a forward two. And he will also take a focus. Yeah, he's not close enough for a target lock yet. Nope, not yet. And then uh, Lats is going to do a forward one so that she doesn't slam into them. She will be right up his butthole. He likes it. <laughs> okay. I'll take your word for it. They're scum. Come on. They love it. <laughs> okay. So uh, she... What's her... What's her uh, because that's a green... She gets a target lock. She does not have a target happen. lock, but at least I know how far away you are. And then <laughs> she'll take a focus. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm actually going to reveal Shara first. So, um, she's going to do a three bank. Damn, that's going to keep you too far away from my tor from my missile, I think. Well, you can't shoot him anyway. Sure I can. Oh. Attack focus, and you don't even have to use it. Your plasma torpedoes? No, no. My missile. Oh, okay, that. Uh. And, hmm... She attempts to target lock. She can. Mm -hmm. She can attack. She can target lock the hired gun, but she cannot target lock anyone else. Damn it, Damn. Man, Lats isn't going to get a shot. So that means she only gets one target lock, even though that normally she would get two. Yep. I'm going to give her the double D. Double D! Double D! What are you saying? I'm saying she gets a double D. All right, fair enough. Okay, so now we're going to give Dutch his maneuver. Nice bank three, getting in there. It looks like he's going to get a target lock, though. Oh, yeah. <gasps> and he's going to be in range. So... Let's, um... Let's... Target lock 56. Okay. He's, he's guaranteed in range for that. He's going to take so much hurt. So he gets. Oops. Giving him the double H. Give no, him no, the I, double I, I'm H. okay with you giving him the red one. That's okay. Now, he. Um, he gives a target lock. Acquiring a target lock, choose another friendly ship at range one or two. The chosen ship may immediately acquire a target lock. I think Nora's too far away. Yeah, but Shara is not. Shara is even too though far away. We already met I know, once. I know. So unfortunately... She does not. Unfortunately, right now, his pilot ability is not going to kick off. So, doing Shara... Or sorry, Nora is also down a three bank. She should just squeak this in, no problem. 
And I'm surprised you didn't already use your. I mean, I just set that to a forward three and then be like, stay on target. Boop. Well, but why, no range, uh, why no stress yet. myself no, for no, no range reason? Yet. No range yet. And no range. Like, that. that's like, on the first round, I did push the limit. Sometimes that makes sense. <laughs> if you got Mangler Dash, for example, you want to get in there hard, so. <sighs> Maybe if you got engine upgrade. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. But, all right. So yeah. that's all our maneuvers. And no, uh, she's going to take an action, oh, action, which is yeah. her double focus. So now I have to weather some hits before I can start shooting back. Okay, interesting enough. You are actually going to get some extra agility. Well, and the one guy that you can shoot there with the... Yeah, with everyone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. start of combat. Does anything kick off at the start of combat? I currently have no start of combat abilities. I don't think I do either. Once per hour defending... Blah, blah, blah. When you reveal, uh, after spending target lock, when attacking, after you execute a maneuver, uh, blah, blah, blah. I have nothing that says at the beginning of combat, do something. So we'll go straight to the beginning of the highest level pilot, which is Nora. Nora at nine, you said, with VI? Yes. Okay. Um, she has range three on 56. Okay. This um, is her primary? Well, that's all she's got. So, one for range and one for obstruction. Okay. Wow. So, I know, why win with three dice? Um, I know. She gets that's the Alliance Overhaul can, extra dice. That's just two more dice that can fail. So, she gets three dice. Yep. Um, now, I don't have to choose when to spend a target lock until after I roll when anyway. When attacking or, or defending. defending, you may spend a target lock. That, so, that is going to be during the modified dice step. Yeah, that's right. So I don't declare it now. I roll first, and then I declare if I spend my target lock. Yeah. So I'm going to declare on number 56. Okay. Three dice. And not bad. She got a blank, a crit, and a focus. A crit and a focus. Mm. She will spend. She will spend Shara's target lock to add a, an extra focus result. Okay. So she actually because Shara can give. Let somebody else use. So you just consume. The so I consume Shara's target lock yep. to get an extra focus result. So I'll just flip that to a focus. So I got a no, crit. No, you'd still you still have a blank. Let's just set a dice. I know, but, but yeah, okay, whatever. Because technically, you I could use something else to reroll that yes. blank. Um. Now you didn't have anything to adjust my attack dice, did you? No, not guy? currently. Because I shouldn't have done that first. It, it's it's actually technically you would get to respond to my dice roll yeah, first that's fine. That's before, fine. but Carry you on. couldn't do anything. So, so right now she has a hit and or a crit and two focus. She spends a focus to turn, to those, turn those to hits. So that's two hits and a crit. Solid. Yeah, not bad. From a single hit and a focus, not bad. or a single crit and a focus to, to two hits and a crit. Okay, so, and I get two, two focus. focuses and a oh, blank. You're lucky. I will use my focus to turn those into two evades. So you take a crit. And I take a crit, which is a shield on 56. Yep. There you go. Okay, so that was my nine. Yep. And then I will do Dutch Vander next. Yep. So it looks like range two still. Yep. Range, range two, one to two. Or range two on him. Yep. Um, so he's going to use his ion cannon turret. Okay. Uh, that means you do not get range. I didn't. Wouldn't have gotten range anyway. Uh, range I do two. Get obstruction. But you do get obstruction, even though it's a, a, a secondary weapon. You still uh, secondary weapons can be obstructed. Yep. So he's going to shoot. He gets three dice. And you're packing a target lock. And I do have a target lock on him. So this is where some more target lock shenanigans could, could potentially kick play. off. And, oh, solid. Wow. Um, okay. Now, you could use your target lock to re-roll a couple of those no. and start the target lock cycle. Yes. It, that, that, I'm going to try. Because I know, I know people are like, why would you spend a target lock on two hits and a crit? 
I'm gonna show you why. <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll the okay. hit with the with my target lock. So when I know it sounds crazy. It, I, yes. After spending, you roll one defense yes. die. Yes. Now, well, I I spent my target lock, but I have to roll first, don't I? Because uh, I'm re-rolling. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And a blank. Okay. Whatever. And then roll your defense dice because. R5K6 says after spending a target lock, roll one defense dice. Roll it up. If I roll an evade result, which I did, oh, I get a target lock. My gold evade even. So I will re double D. Well, no, he, he gets a target lock. Yes. And then he can give other people a Yes, target exactly. Because he acquired a target lock. Oh, you're going to give him the double Ds this time. Okay. So I give him the double. Yeah. Why not? Because, you know, he definitely likes double Ds. Um, now, because he acquired a target lock, yeah. he can allow a friendly ship at range 1 to 2 to acquire a target lock. That means sh he's going to let Shara Bay acquire another target lock on him. So she does. Okay. And no range, so that was, anyway, you, gotta, you get uh, now two, I roll defense my two defense dice. Two defense dice. And that was a focus. So that was a focus. That's not. Uh, okay. it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, That's a, yeah. So you take one hit because it's uh, uh, one shield ion. So on fifty-six so, and an ion and he token. He takes an ion token. Boop. There he is. Yes. I'll just move that over here so they can see it. Okay. So now okay. Shara Bay gets to shoot, and she has a target lock again. Yep. See how this works? Yep. Okay. Um, so she just gets her three dice. Primary, which is I think range three and obstructed. From the look of it. Yeah, definitely range so three. So three dice again for me. Yep. And I'll spin the target lock to re-roll the blank and the focus. So that's one hit result. Okay, and uh, another blank and a focus, so one hit. One hit, okay. So kind of shitty on that one. And, and one of eight, he manages to not take any more. Yeah. That's good, that's good, because he's going to end up in the middle of that freaking debris next turn. So that was kind of crazy. Um, I just spent three target locks. And acquired two. And I still have one. Yep. For next round, yeah. Yeah, which kind of sucks, really. Although I can reacquire as an action, so it's not that bad. Yeah. Um, so there seemed it seemed to kind of work there. I was just not close enough to any other ships to acquire more than one target. So now I get to go with Lats, who in this case has a range three unobstructed shot on um, on Dutch. Okay. I'm gonna use my uh, XX twenty three S thread tracers, which is the worst name. Okay, so First name. So I don't have. I don't even have to spend my focus no, to so perform this attack. Three dice attack at range one to three. Hits, your other two get there. Yep. So all of these guys get to acquire a target lock on. Yep. Them. Okay. And so there is one, one hit. hit. Damn, he could potentially evade and that this. That is a primary, so I get two. It evade is not a primary. It's oh, a secondary. It's secondary. So I only get one. Yep. You could evade this, and I, I will be I very could. sad I if could. you evade I this. Could. And I did. God damn it! Told you, I told you, single agility ships. <laughs> uh, I, I wish I'd rolled some freaking focuses on that. So, yeah. All right, so that almost wasn't worth its cost. Uh, it it actually had a lot of potential for you right now. If it that, did. If that actually hit, you would have actually smoked me really hard right now. I. You know what? Uh, guidance chips on her. It's zero. Just to make that happen. Don't have any other mods on it. Oh, yeah. Next time. Next time. Next time. Next, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Guidance chips would have totally fit on her. So now I'm going to go with uh, 56 here who has a range two shot uh, currently obstructed on yeah. Dutch. Okay. So two dice primary against two dice. So and that one is hit. one hit. Come on, Dutch, Oops, you can do it again. Sorry. sorry. Well, it doesn't so matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter if I saw the top card. Yes, it might. <laughs> it absolutely does not. You're right. It doesn't. It's just forced to have it for me to double link back. I mean, okay. I guess it could because it's like, oh, I know what that crit is. I'd rather it be applied to this guy, so I'll shoot this guy instead. So, okay, okay, okay. I can see. Yeah, okay. Whatever. And Novi! Oh, you did he one shield. Okay. Awesome. Okay, and then a uh, 55 a has a range 3 on Dutch. So, two dice, primary attack. And you're going to get two dice defense. Okay. And two hits. Oh, man, solid. Nice. I wish that had happened earlier with Lats. And two of eight. What? 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 How, is, how is that? How is that even a thing, man? How is... What the hell? Okay. So now we're out of maneuvers. I sweep my tokens. Oh, shit. I was... And... Shit. You're going over. You're going on to the... Uh, I was planning to go through it before and... No, you're going to stop right on it. And... I'm not going to get any of my ordnance off. Maybe not. I was counting on that freaking missile. And I got all rear arc stuff. I was really counting on... So well, I, know I, got, I still got two. I know exactly where he's going to be. Mm-hmm. I know exactly where he's going to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we sweep tokens, we set maneuvers. Yeah, we set maneuvers. Uh, he doesn't get a chance to set a maneuver, so I'm just going to set his dial here, pointing forward one. Uh... Yeah. Oh, forgot what? Dengar. Oh, got to remember that. That would have been two. God more. damn it! That would have been two re rolls. And I would have hit you. Probably pretty guaranteed. And then I would have dropped ordnance from both these guys, and he'd be dead. Well, we can redo it if you want. Nope. 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 It's pain. Pain is a learning lesson. Pain is a learning lesson. <laughs> Got it. See? So many... When, that's the problem when you have a lot of upgrade cards on the ship. It's really easy to lose track of one or two of them. It is. It is. I do it all the time. It's like, oh... Fuck, two rounds ago I could have done this. You'd be dead right now. So we're all, we're all dialed in? I am. Okay, so I'm going to move this guy first. Yep. He's going to move forward one. At least he gets rid of his ion. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And he takes a stress. <sighs> and there's his stress. And... Yeah, only on crits, right? Oh, yay! No damage. Mm, Hopefully no, somebody no, will no, get nice and close and he'll be able to auto-blaster them. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, all right. And then this guy is also going to do a forward one. Yep. I'm expecting all your guys to do a forward one. <laughs> uh, he will acquire a target lock on Nora. No. On Shara. On Shara. Ooh, trying to strip the shields off Shira. Try. There's the C, and then uh, Lats is going to do a forward one. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that's actually not a bump, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, I'm going to at yeah. least that goddamn overlap on that. Hold on. And oh yeah, it's not a bump. I'm so happy. It didn't look like a bump. Okay, so because that's a green maneuver, that allows her to acquire a target lock. Uh, she will target lock Shara. Okay. And then she will also, using the weapons engineer, target lock Dutch. Okay. Just for shiz and giggles. Yep. And then her action is to take a focus. Yep. That's good synergy there. That's really good synergy. See that? You got two target on, locks on and this, a freaking focus. On this, at least, it's good. I might... I might really regret. Although the target locks, they're the Dengars. Mm. Oh no, no, no! The target locks are about reducing defense dice. Oh when right, other yeah, folks right. Are her special. It's when a friendly ship declares an attack, yeah. which is me too. Yeah, that's but, true. You know. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. All right, that's all my guys moved. Okay, we'll do uh, we'll do Dutch first because he, you know, do Dutch. Do Dutch. So I mean, we're going halvesies. 
He's doing one. Yep. That's going to put him really freaking close to your guys, but I don't care. Dutch don't care. I don't Dutch care. don't care. Okay, so. Look at all the target locks. Uh, I'm going to reacquire the target lock on your 56. Okay, so I'm just going to reacquire it, yep. which gives another friendly ship at range one to two, which is both my other ships, um, a target lock. So, I'm actually going to give Nora Wexley a target lock. So, she will take a target lock on him also. You're using the double L? Uh, double, J. double J. Double J? Double J. Okay. Well, it looks like L, so I'm going to turn that over. So it's, oh, it's fine. Eyes. eyes. <clears throat> double eyes. Um, sorry. Nora. Sorry. I'll do Nora next. Yep. Or no, I don't do Nora next. I do Shara next because yeah. she's a six also. She moves one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we stack a target locks falling. Um, <laughs> no, look and then she all stacked in here. She did a green. She can take an action. She'll take a focus, which gives her two focus. I'm going to set that right close to him so we know that it's his. There's so many tokens here, it's hard to keep track I of. I know. Them. It's going to be target lock ridiculousness. Yeah. And okay. then Nora, at the very end there, she also moves one. <laughs> Battle of the slow rollers. Yeah. And she acquires a target lock on 56. You're really gunning for that guy, which eh? She'll still take, got six she'll take G. He still gets six So he points. gets double G. Because she has weapons in Engineer like you do, she gets another target lock what? on some... No, Shara has weapons in weapons yeah, that, Engineer. Oh, shit. I, I just did that you should have done That the was actually... Locks on her. That was the double target lock on her. Totally... Derped out there. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant at least. So there's your green. Yeah, green. actually, oh, I. That was hers. Oh, I totally fucked this up. GG. I totally fucked this up. I was supposed to. I was supposed to give Nora, the target lock. For some reason, I thought Shara was Nora. Yeah. So technically. Uh, okay. Whatever. Whatever. That means that means she does get two because she was given we'll one. Roll it back that way. There we go. Yeah. And then she acquired the extra one through the... Oh, you have to do it on a separate ship. So we'll do it on that one, maybe? No, or... no, no. We'll... Uh... <sighs> yeah, let's do the hired gun for okay. now. Or wait, on Defender. No, I'll do the... Uh... Oh, uh... Actually, Anybody else can use your target locks. Yeah. So you want to spread them around a bit. I, I'm actually going to do it on the Transocean. Okay. I'll set it here next to her. Lats's other ones. Notice I went with the L's for Lats. Okay. I totally screwed that up. I was supposed to actually give Nora the target lock from Dutch. So and for some reason, I saw her and I'm like, okay, Nora. You're getting Nora and Shara mixed up. I know. I know. And then... And you could see because I took two focus on chair. It was like oh, it, it's fuck. no worse than when I whiffled with I know, my three tracers and forgot. Because to right the now target, she so. should have a target lock and she'll have two, so I'm one short. So let's move along. I then. fucked up. So we start uh, combat. Start a combat. Start a combat. Nothing I have. Nothing. Okay. So we will move into nine, which is Nora. Nora. Okay. So, that looks like range one. I'm pretty certain it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, it is obstructed because you got, yes, it you is. got debris out your front. And that also means that if I do a green, I'm going to drop my stress and pick up a stress. So, it's range one from the front arc. She gets four dice. 
So she's going to declare 56. I get two dice. <laughs> Nora uh, can use the double eye. Yes. And, woo, solid. See, right now, I wish she I didn't fuck that up because then I would have target locked the blank. And then I would have spent. You still can target lock. No, blank. but then I would have spent a target lock to give me an extra focus on top of it, oh. and I would have got five freaking hits right now. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll just consume the target lock Double on line. on uh, Shara. Line. There you go. To add an extra focus result. Boop. Okay. And then I spend a focus. For four hits. For four hits. So no matter what, I'm going to take some B. Four hits. Wow. wow. So it's three hits. Three hits. That is his last shield. And two and hits. And two hits. He's got three hit points left. Okay. Oh, two hits. Two hits. Okay. 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 So. Now... We're going to do Dutch. Um, he'll eye on him again. What the hell? <laughs> okay. uh, two dice, because it's struck. Yeah, I know. I know. And I get three. Isn't it three? Yes, three. Come on, give me a hit. And I'll spin the target lock he has. So that's going to be two hits, two hits so far, and, a blank. and the target lock. And yeah, I'll spend the target lock, and so and that focus, is a focus. Which you don't have. So I spend the target lock, which lets and then I, roll, I roll an evade dice. If I get an evade, I get a free target lock. Yes! Oh, nice. I get a free target lock. So I'll target lock him again, Okay. Um, which gives one of my guys a target lock. Okay. Oops. And he will give Shara. He will give Shara hasn't shot yet. Yeah. He'll give Shara the target lock. So she will reacquire. Re and she reacquires. Uh, because she has systems tech, she gets another one and she'll put it on him. Yep. Target lock shenanigans. Target lock shenanigans. Yeah, that's brutal. So one damage, right? Uh, and an ion. Uh, well, did you? Would you roll? Uh, oh, that's right. I got two hits. And oh, oh, lucky bastard! No hit. No hit. Damn it! I wish I'd done that earlier. Still. Okay, so now Nora locks. has a target lock again. That's range one. That is definitely you a mean Shara. Or Shara definitely has a target lock again. She has a target lock on him again. Yeah. Uh, so she gets four dice. Yep. I get two because obstructed. With a freaking target lock. Oh, uh, she spent her focus too. Just the one, yeah. yeah. And solid, but shitty. All right, a focus. A crit, or two focuses and a crit and a I blank. target lock to re-roll. So you use the double eye. The double eye. And, oh, three focus. So one oh, crit. Oh, one crit. Okay, I could still mock this so up. So my, my dice are kind of misbehaving. And shit, oh, wow. two focuses. One I take crit. a crit. Watch this be a freaking direct hit. Thrust control fire. Receive a stress token. Then flip this card face down. Huh. No, he's got more stress. He doesn't even care. He doesn't care. Okay, so that's your guys. Lats is going to do a four dice primary into Dutch. Uh, Dutch. Yeah. I'm suspecting Dutch is going to die pretty quick. So I will... Two hits, a focus, and a blank. Oh, I have to do it when I declare. Is it okay if I use it now? What? To reduce his defense dice? You do it? What? 
I have to do it when, when a friendly, friendly ship. friendly ship declares an attack. Yeah, fine. So I'll Whatever. consume that to reduce his defense dice to zero. Okay. And then I will use Dengar to re-roll those two. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Holy that's crap. a cockeyed. You want me to re-roll yes, that one? that was... Okay. Okay, so, so two, two hits, hits and a crit, and, and, a and he crit. gets nothing. So two hits and a crit. That is two hits and a crit. Ship, treat all turn maneuvers as red maneuvers. Woohoo! Reducing his uh, defense two, that way. Well, no, it reduces his two white to because uh, he doesn't have one. He doesn't have one. He has a two turn. turn and, and oh, three. yeah, two his three, turns. His now. red is already. All of three. his hard turns are red. So all of his hard turns are red now. Okay, and then okay, I'm going to do. With that. Oh, man. Do I, do I, do I, do I? I'm trying to figure out whether I should drop my ordnance from 55 into Shara or not. I can at least hopefully strip her shields, so I will do that. I will. Uh, declare my attack. Lats is going to consume her other target lock to reduce her agility okay. to zero. Yeah. I will consume my target lock to shoot. That was 56, 55. And the plasma torpedo. And that looks like it's obstructed. Four dice. So I will get one agility. Uh, from this guy? Yeah, because it's uh, obstructed. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, wait, closest to closest. I'm not sure it is. Nope. Oh, look at that. It's not. Hot damn. God damn it. However, I don't have a focus or anything, so... Yeah, it's just whatever you roll. Whatever I roll is whatever I roll. Which is... Oh, my God. A crit and two hits and a focus. So it doesn't matter. It's four shields. Yeah, so a crit... Sorry. A oh, crit. no, it's not. It's not. It's two hits, a crit... And then you lose another shield. So I lose three shields. That's on Shara. Because I only, yep. yeah, because that's it. After dealing damage, remove a shield token. I lose three shields, and that's it. All right. And that's your ordinance going. That was 55. Now 56 is going to auto blaster into Dutch. Okay. For one. One hit that Dutch can't evade. Yeah. I, I have to roll dice, but it doesn't matter. Blank, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, okay. So one hit. Could have used my focus from rats, but I didn't. Can I remember these lands? So we sweep tokens, because that's the end of combat. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think the three points for the ion cannon could go, and I could upgrade both of these to protons instead next time. Okay. Hmm, that would work. That's yeah, okay. it for him. So he's stressed. Woo! He's stressed and he's going to get another stress going over it, so he's going to stick with two stress. Yeah, he's, at least he's not ioned. No. So now we set some maneuvers. This is all just a big cluster now. Okay, so... Consumed. Hmm, this could be interesting. Hmm. 
God, what a cluster of doom up here. <laughs> Man, I'm I'm feeling pretty hosed right now. Interesting. Okay, so you're you ready? Let's no, do. Let's uh, do it. Let's let yeah. <laughs> let's just get this over with. One of us is gonna die. I think both of us are losing a Y wing this turn. <laughs> yeah, that hurts for me more than it hurts for you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do this guy first. He's gonna do a forward one. Yep. Which is probably what you were expecting. Yep. Um, he will, yeah, he will take a focus, because mm. he's already got his ordinance off, he doesn't care about target locks mm -hmm. now. All right, uh, this guy, forward one. So he reveals a green, which drops a stress. But then he picks up he a picks stress. Back up for... and, then, and he bumps too. Yes, he does. And he also... Has to roll. Yeah. If you roll a crit, I think he dies. Doesn't he? No, 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 no. Unless it's a direct hit. That's because I couldn't freaking hit him. So that's all on him. That's because he's like uber agile. I know. Craziest, <laughs> uh, craziest <laughs> my wing, man. Craziest my wing. And not a crit. No. Nope. Awesome. Uh, okay, that's him there. And then uh, last Lats. but not least, Lats does a forward one and as well. Bumps. Which is in this case is a bump into Dutch, I think. Which will put her. Yeah. I'll just put her straight. Uh, move because uh, 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 she's right going to be there. on the. Yeah, there's the there's my corner. She's on the. Uh, so that's going to be so. right there. Okay, so she acquires uh, a stress. Now she does get a stress. For landing on the thing. And then roll a dice. Uh, oh, oh lose a, she lose loses a shield. a shield. Oh no, that's not a big deal. Uh, now, because she executed a green maneuver, uh, K4 Astromech, or K4 Droid uh, kicks off. She acquires a target lock on Shara. Uh, then uh, Weapons Engineer kicks in, and she acquires a target lock on Dutch. Okay. Uh, that's all she's got. That's all she's got. My guys have moved. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's let's clean these tokens up a little bit here. Let's oh, move good. these. Well, I just want to separate them. Okay. I'm oh, gonna I'm gonna, gonna reveal turn. Shara first. They're both sixes considered, right? Yes. Okay. Um, you called her by the right name this time. I'm so proud. I know. Bank three. You gonna use it? Now they have. Now that's probably gonna put her o her template over the over the bank thing. three. No, mm -hmm. she'd get away. That's not, it's it's tucked back in here. Your bank three is going to come uh, this side of it. I don't know. I Use think, your stay on target I'm gonna, then. I'm going to clip it. Use your stay on target to turn that into a turn three instead. It has to be the same speed. I know. I know. You don't have a turn three, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, a three, 390. Oh, okay. Um, forward could, three. Or I could do complete. a forward three. And Which was going to keep you exactly oh, where you're at. That's why I moved lats one. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, that's 
still gives her her double target lock shenanigans. That does. <sighs> Shit. But then she's not shooting at the target that she wants. So I on. will change that to a 390. Okay. 390 to the right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do it on her corner. Uh, so that'll be... Wait, no, that doesn't work on a 90. That does not work on a 90. You can't do that. Uh, okay. What? Yeah, because it's actually... No. you Because it's off guy. wrong. Let me template my dude. Right? It has to be a straight maneuver to, to do that. Yeah, see that the bank would have clipped it, and then she wouldn't have got an action. Uh, just for shits and giggles, I'd like to see what the bank would have done. Okay, okay, let me just hold this here. Yeah, the bank. Oh, you're right. It would have. Okay. And then she wouldn't have got an action. Nope. Well, she still doesn't get an action technically, but because she did a red maneuver, targeting astromech triggers. Targeting astromech triggers. She gets a stress. Where did I put all my stress? There they are. So she gets a stress. Oh, oh dude. All I did was bump her around <laughs> on the corner. It's fine. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, but we pushed her in, damn it. Whatever. Hmm. Whatever, whatever, Let's see. whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> totally didn't. They were bumping before. Yeah. Not straight on though. Yeah, they were. They no, were. They were bumped not. The bus, weren't they? They were off, just ever so. He was like okay. overlapped on her nubbins. So, but now when you look, she's not bumping anymore. Look it. See, she should be there. There. Okay. 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 And yes, it's the opponent's choice where it has to, like, so it's my my decision on where it goes, but I have to make as close as possible to where I remembered. Yeah. Those follow her. Okay, so now she gets to acquire a target lock because of the targeting astromech. Yep. So you're going to reacquire She already energy. has a target lock um, on him, but she can also, yeah, so she'll reacquire G, mm -hmm. which gives her, she also gets another one. So she'll take I. Mm -hmm. and put it on this guy. Mm -hmm. So she has her two target locks in a stress. And one a red. from lots on there. Yeah. Okay. Dutch. Now Dutch. Dutch goes three straight. Which I think actually just gets him past. Oh, yeah. Easily. Because uh, uh, a, a large base is two. Go ahead and move him. And I knew... I would get past because you had to move your twos first. So that mm -hmm. would give Lats a little bit of room. And I knew you were going to bump with Lats, but I was going to have the space. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now he will target lock. Oh, and everybody's too far away. His target lock shenanigans are broken. Uh, yeah, but I don't care so much. So he's going to target lock on... Probably on 56, your mm, turret can hit him. Is that range 2? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if I declare on him as my target lock. and the, Yeah, then you can measure at least, but then you have to take a target lock on him. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm going to target lock the Transdotion at this point. Okay. So the Transdotion now has Double D okay. from Dutch. Double D Dutch. Okay. Uh, he has range one to two. I'm not sure. Everybody's too far out. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh that's range two. close enough. And Oh, yeah. Range two. Mm, yep. No. Yep. Look no, at that. Dude. Yes, look at it. Touch I'm, your thing. And, and touch my thing. Hold her. You're just out, buddy. You're literally just out. 
by like the width of a dime. I don't know, dude. That's like right up against my base. Mm. I'm going to contest this. We're rolling off for this. Okay. That is too close. Okay. Because <laughs> that that is a contestable roll. Okay. That's contestable. I still think it's not in range. Well, and I do. Okay, so <laughs> how does this work? Uh, damn it. Let's look up contested roll and do it properly. Okay, I'm going to pause the timer briefly. Okay, okay. So we're going to look up the rules on contested roll rules. Um, oh, do you have the FAQ downloaded? No. Uh, let's see. Contested roll. I haven't really had to do this before. X wing. Okay. Okay, so it's just a rules reference. Standard rules. There's nothing in the standard rules about contested. Why did it bring me to the NHL? I click on the. What? <laughs> okay. There's nothing in the current in the current rules that is about contested rules. It must be in the FAQ. Okay. Contested. Contested. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. For X wing. No, I, 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 I'm not sure if it's in the. Okay, there we go. It's downloading. Still downloading. I got it. You got it? There's got to be. There's got to be. What? No, no matches found in the FAQ. Disputed, maybe? Dispute. Nothing for that. What? Okay, we got to learn this. Holy cow. At least you need to learn this if you're running the, the uh, tournament. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go. In the core. How to dispute with a friend regarding rolling when you have... Okay. X-Wing. Sorry, folks. We're looking up a rule. Um... One player takes three attack dice, while the other player takes three defense dice. It doesn't say who? Nope. Okay. Both players roll. The player who obtains the most focus results wins the dispute. Oh, okay, because their focus is the same amount on, on, yep. on green okay. and red. So okay. what did you pick up, red? Yeah, yeah. Red. Okay, okay, roll. Ah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Re roll. So we re-roll. One and none, so you win. God damn damage. it! God damn, see, green. I know that's why you picked red dice, <laughs> you bastard. There's the same number of focus. What it doesn't matter. About? Green dice hate me. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I can't do it for him. She's already got two target locks. Damn it! I, I was expecting Good. him to be just within range two. Good. Point. Okay, Nora. So he took his double yeah, that D. That was his double D. And she is going to bump. Uh, yep. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, because look at the overlap there. Yeah, you don't have enough room. Are you sure? Try, try to place. I bet you. Oh, maybe. Maybe, because there's a little angle. Yeah. There's a smidgen of angle there. 
And oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's like a glove. There we go. Okay. Yep, yeah, it was that smidge of an angle. And so she's got H and L. And then, uh, yeah. On her there. Okay, and that's these guys, that's these guys, that's those guys. Okay, okay so, holy crap. So, so she gets to take a focus, which gives her an extra focus. An extra focus. So where's H? H is that guy. Okay, good. Good. Okay, I gotta take a picture of this one. This is target lock shenanigans. Look at this. Okay. That is ridiculous. Uh, um, okay, wow. I'm gonna resume the timer. Okay. Okay, so Nothing happens at the beginning of combat, correct? No, I have no beginning of combat. Oh, yeah. So we just, let's move right to uh, Nora, then she's a nine. Um, he doesn't have anything that obstructs shots, no, does he? It no. doesn't matter. It's no still an, it's still an obstructed shot, though, because yes. of the thing. But uh, it, wait, whose is? Um, she's going to be... Oh, because it does... She's, she's shooting closest back. The closest is going to pass in arc. through the edge of that. Yeah. Closest is closest in arc. Which so, is range one. Yeah, yeah, right oh, yeah. over it. Yeah. So you get an extra attack dice. I get an extra defense dice. So I get three dice. Fifty-six is probably gonna blow up now. She's got a two focus and a target lock on him. Yep. And if she spends her focus, she can add or spends a target lock, she can add a focus result. Mm -hmm. Which, with the alliance overhaul, gets turned into automatic crit. So. By spending a target lock right now, it's an automatic crit. <laughs> See how that works? That's some shenanigans. Wait, is that? Oh, it's Nora. Okay. They both have alliance overhaul. Yeah, I know. But I, I was like, who's shooting? Yeah. yeah, Nora. Nora, yeah. You spend a target lock you have on the enemy to increase. Yep. Wow, so she gets extra. Oh, hold on. I got all kinked up here. Mm, hold on. It the wrong way. There you go. Okay, so she gets three dice because it's range one. Yep. She oh a hit, a crit, and a blank. So she will spend the target lock. She has on him. Yep. To get an extra focus result. And her rear arc alliance overhaul says, so you have nothing to change my dice, right? Currently, yeah. no. Oh, okay. nothing. So it says change one of your focus results to a crit. So that, so that becomes two crits and, a, and hit. a hit. And I roll two dice. Two dice. Just flat. Wow. So I take a crit and a hit. and I think No, you enough. take two crits. Oh, you're right. Two crits. Yeah, that's enough to kill him. Anyway. Major explosion and direct hit. Oh yeah. So that's this Kaboom! Uh, double eyes go away. I kind of figured he was gonna die. And I didn't even have to spend her focus on that. No, he didn't. Alliance overhaul. That was very effective on Nora mm -hmm. with a target lock. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing a little bit of so there's Nora, Shara or Dutch now. Um We'll do, let's do Shara, because pff, why not? That's range one. Um, so three dice. And she has a target lock on him. Yep. On her. On, oh, lats, right, sorry. So that is <clears throat> three dice. Yep. A focus result gets turned into a crit. One. And she has a target lock. So, woo, two hits and a focus. I'm not going to spend my target lock. So hit, hit, crit. Sorry, that was a hit. I just flipped it with my finger. Hit, hit, so crit. hit, hit, and that gets turned to a crit because of the hit lines One overall. dice, which is on a base. So I hit, hit and a crit. crit. Two shields. Okay. She's still doing great. And then Dutch. All you got is your turret. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> um, uh, you got, I think, range one there. Or range one here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, I don't get no matter what, dice. it's only going to be you one don't get damage it, yeah. you get. So. You, you don't get extra agility dice. 
Um, the ion is not going to do anything to the large dude. So you're going to um, drop it on. You're but I hit don't 55? have. I don't have a target lock on him. Nope. Shite. He's only got one defense dice, though, so chances are good you're still going to hit him. Just got to focus. Though. It's up to you. If I get two hits, I hit him. <sighs> Shit. Do and it! And then I reacquire a target? No, I don't. You don't get to... No, only no, if you shoot no, it last no, and you no. consume it. Then you reacquire and then you uh, on your phone. Shenanigans carry. Uh, uh, he's already blown off his ordinance, hasn't he? Yep. He wants turrets now. Yeah, I know. He's going to Nora. But I don't have any target locks on him. So you know what? <laughs> I have to do this. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna do the Transocean Slaver. Okay. I know it sounds stupid. Nope, it's not because now you're basically preventing me from using my feedback array as well. And whoa! You got there two focuses Focus and a hit. Oh, that okay. was sorry. That was two focuses, so two focuses and, and, and a hit. hit. I'm gonna re-roll the focus. As you double D. So I'll re-roll the focus. And one more one hit. More so hit. that's two hits. And then because I spent a target lock, I get to roll an evade dice. No, I'm it doesn't. This time. God damn it. I needed that. I okay, so you get one no, agility. I get one agility. I roll. And, you and it doesn't it. matter. I take, take one damage. And, and a ion. Yeah. Shit, I needed that to freaking kick off. Because I, I needed target I locks. I ion until I've taken two, right? Ugh. <sighs> Damn it! All right. So now it comes to Lats, who is going to let's see here. Uh, let's make sure we can we know where that is next turn. Uh, Lats is I could potentially four dice into Nora right now, mm -hmm. or I could four dice into Shara. Oh, Shara's taking some hits. Or I could feedback array and slam one more into uh, Dutch and then potentially kill him with the hired gun. So, it's a gamble. I'm going to take a damage okay. and an ion token to feedback array Dutch. Okay. So he just takes a damage straight up Okay. instead of attacking. So he has two hearts <clears throat> then. Yep. Now, number 55 is within range one. Yep, yep. I don't have a target lock on him, though, do no, I? you got a focus. Right. You have a focus, so two dice from the auto blaster turret. And good enough, you and did I it. focus you it up. spend it. Yep. Damn it. There that it is. That was a good call. Uh, yes. Honestly, it was a tough call for me because now she's just going to roll away, pick up some more focus. Okay, so Dutch is gone. Good trade. Good trade. Not really. That was a horrible trade. Dutch was worth 30 points. Oh, my guy was worth uh, 25, 26. Yeah, so not a good trade. Okay. Uh, but I've almost done half damage on the <laughs> Transdotion. That's in the combat, now. so we sweep any green tokens. She never spent any focus. She didn't need to. Nope. Uh, okay, so Lats is just going to move forward one. Yeah, he has to. Why would Which is going to stress him out and potentially give him another crit. I'm not going to be able to do the K4 and Weapons Engineer this turn, though because of the ion tokens. Okay, so Nora. Oh man, 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 man. Yeah, do it, buddy. You gotta be brave, man, you gotta be brave. Set that there. Her. Mm -hmm. 
I know, right? This is such a hard call. So you're moving. You're going to be right freaking... You're going to be here. Oh, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Let's do... Okay, uh, your Y-Wing goes first. Okay, go Y-Wing! Um, he is going to bank, or sorry, K-Turn 4. K-Turn 4. Because that's what he's got. Yeah. I was tempted to try and turn, but I'm pretty sure that Lats would have just slammed into him at that point. So, sorry, I just bumped him all that. There we go. So, he is stressed. He is stressed out. Oh, God, he's stressed. Okay. Uh, and then Lats does a forward, forward one. one white. Yep. Does not get does rid of his stress. Does not get rid of her stress. He actually, she actually picks up another stress. Yep. But I do get to drop my ion tokens. Yes. You get to drop your ion tokens. You pick up another stress, and you got to roll. And because I it was still a... actually have my two target locks, so yeah, that's not a bad thing in the end. end. Uh, and then I roll so an extra one stress. Die. You get one more stress. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. There you go. And then roll. And nothing. Okay. Okay, my guys. Um, she goes first. Yep. One bank. Uh, where is it? So she sheds her stress. Out of your arc. Woo! Um, now she already has a target lock on him, and I can tell right now that I am more than range three on your Y wing. So at this point, she will actually take a focus for her action. Oh, oh, kitten. Oh. It's wrapped around oh. his head. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that, folks. Got a kitten. Left yeah, to play was, with that cords. Was, uh, that was some kitten shenanigans. Kitten shenanigans. Okay, okay, so that was her maneuver. Carrying on with Shnora at nine. You almost said Shnora. I almost did. <laughs> there you go, one. I'm obviously confused. She is. There she is. Yes, she is. There. She is there. Yes. That's not going to be obstructed. God damn. It's okay. I got lots of hit points left in that ship. I don't care if you shoot me. Don't um, care at all. From the rear arc. Now, if I take a target lock, I don't get any of my target lock shenanigans stuff with her. Nope. So, so I, would, I would take a I double focus. Do a double focus. Because it's going to be more useful yeah, in the end. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not at range. Now I have no shots. I'm this not time. at range two with her. I'm not going to have any shots, so you just get to go. I oh, know. Wait, maybe no, I do. Uh, I think he's beyond range three, actually, so he won't. Oh, even get wait. Fired. No, you might. You might with your two. It doesn't I, matter anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll check when we get there. Okay. Begin well, in a combat. You just get, why, why did you just put. Oh, I don't there? know why I put the focus there. Because I'm derping. I mean, I don't mind that yeah. you don't take a focus. It's like, I take a focus and put a bash. Derp okay. derp 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 Nine! So, no beginner combat shenanigans. So two dice. 
Uh, that is range two. So it will be two dice. Yes, it is range two. Okay. Unobstructed, two dice. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Because, because a focus gets turned into a crit. <sighs> Not worried about it. Got lots of hit points. Lots of health. And two hits. hits. Two hits. And isn't it you get... Oh, no. No, no. A focus gets turned into a crit from the rear. One of your focus. Okay, awesome. So two hits. You two have, hits. Going to deal at least one damage because I can't evade that much. Oh, look at that. Not evade, and I lose Jesus. my shield. Okay. Um, and then Shara. Shara. That looks like range three. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, no. Range two. Oh, yeah. Solid oh, yeah. range two. Yep. Range two. Okay, so... That's okay. Um, unobstructed. Where's my gold? Where's my gold one? Two more dice. There it is. She has a focus. Come on, Goldie. And a target lock. Come on, Goldie. Come on, Goldie. Yeah, two hits. God okay. damn it. Um, yeah. Do I spend it? No. And blank. Yeah, so two hits. Two hits. Boop, boop. I'll take it. Or you'll take it, I should say. Um, two. Four hit points left on Lats. This is bad news. Nora is fresh. So is my Y-Wing, though. So. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so uh -huh. Lats has no shot, cannot feedback array. Oh, you does. do. Range three. So I declare my attacker. I will consume her target lock okay. to reduce your defense dice. Okay. And then I will roll my two dice. Come on, baby, hold together. Ugh. One focus. And so nothing. That and was like, a complete I don't get waste. Any dice anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Complete waste of that. Damn. Okay. Uh, so we sweet. Tokens. Set, I can actually set a maneuver. You can. Both of you guys are stressed. I like that. I like that a lot. So I know where he's going. He's going to be there. We're going to be out of shooting range though. <sighs> mm. So do I do that just to get man oh man oh man oh man back into it. Oh, that's Too far, Glenn. That's too far. Okay, I'm dialed. You dialed. I'm dialed. You dialed. I think you're gonna take this. Oh, I don't know. I need to make some adjustments to my build. This could have been very different if I remembered to use Dangar earlier and get my missile hit. Because then I would have gotten my ordinance off way freaking earlier. Okay, so she's out of it anyway. She's not potentially out of it though. Audrey. Get away. <laughs> I see shot. that. <laughs> okay. 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 So that's going to be. Uh, yeah. ah, shit. Still. Still. This is a repositioning round, I think. I think. I think. Yeah, it is. It's a repositioning round. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna You're do my wily. four. Who's gonna do a forward three? And does green. not share this stress. Yes, it is. It's green because oh, I'm right, unhinged chest from that. Unhinged. Wee. Uh, so he sheds his stress, and he will take a target lock. Okay. Might as well, because. <laughs> Chances are good that I'm not going to get any range. So I will bank one with Jeez! Lots. I did not see that coming. Know, right? Who knew? So he Who knew? gets rid of a stress. So she drops a stress. Uh, all right. It's one. Although a, a three. Now the K4 security droid triggers. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Out of range. Okay. Out of range. So she's going to. Oh, it's okay. I still got one there. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and that's it. That's all I got. All right. So Shara is just kind of trying to get back into the fight. Here. Turn two. There you go. Because, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's not shooting this round. Mm -hmm. But she's also not going to be shot at. Um, I will attempt to target lock. I can't. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I'll focus. Yep. And then Nora. Nora does a one bank. Hmm. Okay. I think that actually keeps you in my primary. Probably. It also puts you in my rear. I'm not so worried about that. And she does the double focus thing. Okay, Nora gets to shoot. Okay, begin a combat. Nora has a range three shot. So you're going to get two dice. Are you sure? I think it might be closer. Well, it's that's, closer yeah. to closest. I know, time, but right? it's in arc. Yeah. In, in arc, arc, closest to closest is... Oh, it's just out is of like, two. Yeah, it's range three. Okay, solid. Okay. Yeah, it's range three. There's no getting around that. Oops, sorry. It's stuck to me. I know. They do that. Asteroids, why you got me so sticky? Because it's an asteroid? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Saying that they get sweaty or something? Uh, she'll take her two dice. Yep. She cannot use... Range three, so I get two. Any of um, Shara's target locks. But I do get to turn a focus into a crit. And I do have two focus. So here we go. A focus and a hit. Nice. That's actually so the. That focus turns into a crit. That focus gets turned into a crit because of the alliance overhaul. So a hit and a crit. Okay. And I get two dice because range three. And one and of it, so he takes a crit, which is a one of his shields. He's down to two shields. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, she got no shot. No. So, Lats has no shot. Uh, I will declare my attack on Nora, which lets me consume my target lock off of Lats to reduce her defense dice by one, so okay. she's down to one dice. Two dice primary. And Wow, I will re-roll those with my target lock. There oh, oh, my god! god. Frick, that's solid. Well, yeah, except that she hasn't taken any hits yet, so it doesn't matter. And a focus, I'll spend the focus. Boop, and you take a, a shield, which is a shield. There's your focus. Yeah. And we sweep and set maneuvers. Uh, you got half damage on lats, which means you're going to win. Because we're into last turn here now. Really? Yeah. Oh, two minutes. Uh, can you kill... You put, could potentially kill one of my ships if Lats gets a shot off. Lats won't get a shot off. She doesn't have a K-turn. No, she gets, She has a 390. Oh, yeah, she can do her white 390. Why and I that'll give that? her... Because then she'll be... Have her arc. It, no, she won't there. have arc unless you're doing... I know. Unless you can you turn, move backwards. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, okay? Yeah, like you you have won this match. So. 
I don't think it's possible. For I it. forgot about Dengar and the initial joust. That's so okay. Bad. I totally screwed up on the initial thing too. I would have had more target locks. I would have had a different target lock scenario. Well, I would have gotten my ordinance off. Yeah, so we both screwed up in the first round. Yeah. Okay, so this is just the exercise in meh at this point. Mm -hmm. Because of that, I'll go like this. And I'll go like... So I think I'm going to pull the ion cannon off this, which would let me get... Um, protons instead of plasmas and then free up one more point you know what's going to go on there munitions fail save yeah <laughs> oh no no oh to make sure you can shoot it again no but if, miss, you, if you if you had guidance chips it's it's a, almost a guaranteed yeah i guess between gun guard and guidance chips i might actually yeah do. i would do guidance chips it's free yeah and then i got bid yeah okay all right, uh, carry okay. on. Carry on. You're Y-Wing. Yep. He will do a bank three. Yep. Damn right he will. That's what I was counting on. Here. If you didn't, I'd be like, oh, dude, why didn't you do what I thought you were going to do? Yeah. And then he will acquire a target lock yeah, he will. on Nora. Now, unfortunately... And then Lats, big surprise, does a turn three yeah. just because what the fuck. Yeah. It doesn't matter this point. No, it really doesn't. There she is. All that follows. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing triggers. Nothing triggers. She's got nothing. Okay. She's got a stress. Shara. There's a 290. Which is here somewhere. And then I'll acquire a target lock on your hired gun. So let's just switch my double G. There you go. And then, and then he's too far away, so I can't take another target lock. Uh, and then Nora moves one straight. Because I knew you were coming up hard behind me. Yep. So I thought, oh, if I can keep you at range one, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I almost feel like I need... Higher pilot skill dudes. You know what I need instead of one of these freaking hired guns? Oh. Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Yeah. Same cost. Same cost. But Andrew delivers way more damage. And Lats, and goes, and Lats goes, produce And Andrew has mid game too, but he's just more squishy. Yeah. He blows up faster. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, she does her double focus. Yeah. And then she gets to shoot. Okay, so beginning of combat, nothing triggers. She gets to shoot. She's going to declare the hired gun. And Nora is within range two of her. Woo! Woo! So that is two dice from the rear. Whoa! What are you throwing dice on? I don't know. You just don't like that one. Throw another one. Okay. That one didn't want to roll for you, so roll the other one. And, oh, horrible. Oh. So, two blanks. It's because you offended the other dice. I spend Nora's target lock to actually re-roll uh, them. Double G, there you go. Yeah. To re-roll your two. Jesus. And, oh, much better. Perfect. That's what I wanted to hit in a crit. Because the crit focus gets turned, or out. hit in a focus, and the focus gets turned to a crit. Yeah. So Yay! one. And, and I don't evade, don't, and I so lose my and shields. Hit and a crit. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just two shields, yeah. Okay, so now Shara goes without anything. Um, that is... Ooh. Is that range two? That is range two in my arc. So... Uh, her alliance kicks off. She gets three dice. She sure does. And one hit. Woo. One hit. You get one evade. One evade. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Blank. So you take a hit. A hit. All right. Okay. okay. And then he has... That double A is on her. Yeah. So he has a... Range two, 
range two. And range two. So, okay. Primary. And arc. On who? On her. On who? On her. On Nora. Okay. okay. And I will re-roll that with my target lock. Yep. Uh, one hit. So one Not going to matter. Okay. So, one hit. I get one evade dice. Uh, it's a focus. I spend a focus, so nothing. And that's that. And that's that. And you win because half damage on last. So Good game, sir. Good let's game. count the points here. Um, I lost uh, 30. Seconds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. So I lost 26 from a hired gun, and you got 24 from lats. So you got uh, 50 points. 50 points to 30. So it's a, that's a win. That's a 20 point win. 20 point margin. margin. 20 point margin. That's so a solid, it's a good win. I think my takeaway on this is that the Y Wings are not good. Ah, uh, you know In what? You, you, you're right. Good. You missed your ordinance shot potentially at the at the first round with the. I like that synergy build that you got with with. Oh, here you go. Everyone gets a target lock now. Blow off your torpedoes. Guidance chips. Take off the ion cannon. Put these two um, protons instead. Yeah, yeah. Or switch one of them to Andrew. I think I'm gonna do that actually, and switch at least one of them to Andrew. And see where it goes from there. Yeah. Um, sadly, it's not easy to stay at range one of somebody, is it? Uh, <laughs> it could be. It could be. You only got to shoot your um, auto blaster turret twice, I think. Um, the problem was that I ended up going over the debris and taking the ion cannon shot. And that yeah, the ioning you, forcing you over that debris actually was. Otherwise, I would have you turned. You know what? I'm gonna say. I would have turned and you'd have hit me. I'm gonna say that was play of the game. The play of the game, getting ioned onto the onto the um, debris. Straight up, straight up. That was the turn. That was the TSN turning point. <laughs> From there, you were having a hard time um, um, trying to get back around, getting getting all that stress off you. It just... It didn't work. It just yeah. didn't work out. You know what? The arcs can actually do some damage. Oh, no. The arcs are a solid beatdown ship. They have a lot of hit points. It's hard to beat them down enough because 9, uh, 9 HP is a lot of HP. Yo. So... Okay, so you already determined what you're going to change with with your build. On so. my build, what do you think I should change? I really like the Shara Bay build. Honestly, I, I, I think don't, most of that is good. I don't think I want to change Shara at all. Like I, I, I like the fact that no matter freaking what, she's always going to get a target lock. I much. honestly, I think Dutch. Is, there's too much, too much potential too much. for him to not get it. I know. Uh, you were the, very lucky on the turn. I did, did it on purpose. I did threw Dutch in there on purpose to add more target lock shenanigans specifically, yeah. right? I knew he isn't really that much of a viable ship, but you know what? He actually did a workload. He he ion fantastic. He did him. he hit two guys ion in him. He forced you you took an ion to force yourself to go over that. Again, yep. you couldn't recover after that. I could not. I could he not. He ioned bone. your guy onto there, and he dished out target locks, and the R5 K6 kicked in twice. Which, honestly, is incredibly lucky when you think about how many evades are on there. You got a well, 50, 50 no. isn't it? No. Oh, no, is it three? Is it three evades? Only three evades on there. One, two, three. So the odds of that happening are three and eight, which is less than 50%. So I know I, I, you like I say, when I lucky. roll one agility dice, it doesn't betray me. <laughs> if I roll more than one, they betray me. Yeah. I don't know why it's some voodoo hex jinx that I got going on with green dice. It is voodoo hex bullshit. I, I know. With that. Um, Nora is awesome. Holy crap! With the alliance overhaul on her. Recon spec is a no-brainer on her. Mm -hmm. Like you, if you don't put recon spec on her, uh, granted, I swept a focus token quite a few times. But 
that gives you one to use on uh, oh, attacks okay. and, and one to use on defense. You just didn't have to use it on defense too much because you kept me. And my on my ropes. attack dice were like two hits and a focus out of the rear. Oh well, the focus gets turned into a crit anyway. I don't need to spend the focus. And she's shooting from her rear arc more than her front arc, which is kind of sucky. But, yeah. But not so bad. Um, and she was able to add a focus result. How many times did she steal a target lock from Shara? A lot. And add a focus result? Yep. To, to give herself an extra hit? Uh, what, three times? Three or four times that kicked off? I'd have to watch the Like, it was totally it, viable. It like, was, it, it, oh. They are meant to be flown together. Oh, totally. They are meant to be flown together. It almost it, what that what this tells me right now is I might have to go out and buy another arc. Yes, because I they're think two arcs together, especially these to two pilots, together. they are designed to be flown they, together. They really and, lock in together really well. Well, if you look at uh, the comic series where Nora and Shara are from, um, they do fly together. Yeah, they are so, women. So I don't know about Dutch though. With them, he. How old is Dutch? He was a—he's kind of an old pilot, isn't he? He was first wave. Yeah, so he might have been around as a rookie when they were no, veterans. No. He would have been flying with them. So this might have been time. a squadron. This, that this is very much a cannon type of uh, a build going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think my build I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a, a, a Y wing. I think what I'm gonna do is drop one for and Drew, uh, which gives me a guy shooting at seven. Yeah. And then I'm going to drop, uh, instead of the higher gun, I'm going to do Cavill with the Auto Blaster Turret and Predator. Ah, that is brutal. Cavill with the Auto Blaster Turret getting at range one out of arc can really dish out damage. Exactly. With Predator. Hell, that's when you're like, oh, I got a crit. I'm going to reroll that. It's like, <laughs> I move, I take a focus. Yeah. And because he's got Predator. I'm going to keep lats. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drop the cannon, the ion cannon. I didn't use it at all, at all. I was hoping to use it. For... Um, you, you didn't you try and shoot me once with? I oh missed. no, that. Uh, yeah, right. You missed. Yeah. Uh, I am gonna keep the thread tracers, but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give myself guidance chips on her instead. Yeah, yeah, because because that is brutal. Um, that'll give your two your two uh, ordnance shenanigan guys. That will. Well, no, I've only got one ordnance shenanigans guy and, and Drew. Guidance chips, lone wolf, cluster missile, glitter stamp. I know, but what was your other Y wing gonna have? Uh, Cavill with the auto blaster turret. And and predator. And unhinged, predator and unhinged. And that's a hundred points then. That's a hundred points. Uh, too bad. So I, have, I end up with only one ordnance dude, but last just keeps reducing dice and reducing dice and reducing. Yeah, dice. I, you know that was effective. Actually, lats caused damage because of that. Exactly. And now I think. Um, I'm gonna keep the thread tracer between Dengar and guidance ships that will let me hit better with the thread tracer. And the thread tracer says, each friendly ship at range one to two of you may acquire a target lock on the defender. On the defender. So it has to be the one that you shoot at. Oh, it has to be the one you shoot at. Okay. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it is that yep. the ship I hit with it because it's like, blink, shoot that guy. Now that makes me double think about Andrew because Andrew wants to be out beyond range one to two. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So that's not a synergy between them then. And but you know what? He's his own guy. Like really, he is. I don't actually need so, the thread tracers. So the thread tracers are useless unless you're putting an ordinance on Cavill, which so, no. Oh, you know what? You know what? Maybe hey, I can hey, 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 drop, drop the thread tracers for tractor beam. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, keep doing a greens. little bit more control, keep doing greens, pull, pull people over to the side of Cavill. Yeah, yeah, move them closer to Cavill so Cavill can be like or, sweet or yeah. past Cavill so that he can shoot he them can shoot out of arc three dice. Out of arc. Out of arc. Yeah. That's actually better. Or push them push them closer to Andrew at range one to two if they're still range three of them. And yeah. Andrew goes right yeah. on. Other Man. thought I had was drop the guidance chips, the auto blaster turrets, and the ordnance off of them and replace all of that with... Mines? No. 
Oh. Uh, TLTs. Yeah, TLTs are always still effective. So, and so a standard thing says uh, for the attack. So, which means for both my rolls for the TLT, because it's considered one attack, I get to reduce your defense. Probably, I'm sure there's a. I'm when sure there's an ship? FAQ specifically about that. Uh, well, TLTs are considered one attack. No, I know, but I'm sure. Rolls. I'm sure she has an FAQ. It says you may spend a target lock you have on the defender to reduce its agility for that attack. Which is going to be... It's only one attack. It's just two rolls. Yeah, it's two volleys. Now, but, but they have traditionally... Enough, yeah. They have traditionally said otherwise on their FAQs about stuff. No. Yeah, they, they have. TLT is considered one attack. I know. But you can't use a target lock for both. You can't use the same focus for both. No, you can't because you've use, consumed the focus. I know. It's not like you, it, it's gone. You can't magically know. have another one for the second volley. I'm sure there's an FAQ on it with her. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that that just is not how it goes. I'm going to look her up, though. But, uh, yeah, so uh, my takeaway is the arcs are viable. Oh, they totally with the, are. With the, proper, um, with the proper build on them. Um, they can be quite lethal and they, they could be a little bit squishy, but nine, nine health. They have a, a better dial than the K wing cause mm -hmm. they can, they can cage And them. that rear arc. And the uh, rear the arc. may have the turret, but they got the rear arc with the, um, with the thing. Which yeah. Is, they, they have rear, rear arc, um, guarantee a focus to a crit. Turn a, turn a focus to a crit with the, and front arc though. Uh, four dice at range one. Solid. Uh, I would consider the arc very comparable to the K-Wing in damage output, but I think it has a little bit better survivability because of its maneuver dial. Mm -hmm. um, it, yeah. I mean, they could be ordnance ships too with with one proton or with one uh, torpedo slot but eh, why bother uh maybe i don't know um maybe with shara i have another build uh i i suspect we're gonna see shara probably more than nora mm -hmm. I, even I though nora so. can dish out more damage shara is like we said before she's a care bear she shares her target locks and gets those yeah get, lets people use them to drop the ordnance and blow things up real hard yeah and with and with the weapons engineer stay on target targeting ostromech it pretty much guaranteed her she was getting two freaking target locks and letting people use them yeah um and I did have some good shenanigans with Dutch when he consumed his target lock, getting that back with the R5K6, slinging it to her again, getting two more target locks. That so was like, holy crap. That one round, I ended up acquiring seven target locks. Seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, holy crap. And consumed almost all of them. So it was like, I mean, this is a good build. It's just one. It's just one. So it's not a slouch. Uh, I knew Dutch was the weak link because he's not the damage dealer. Um, he's more of a control yep. uh, support oh. ship. It sounds like you just sucked in your testicles. What, what, no, what's all that about? hold on. Mm. Okay, that was yours. That and that and... Now you said you marked yours? Hmm. You marked yours? Uh, yeah, uh, I have this one. No, I don't, I have this one. Yeah? I have this that one. That one? And I have this one. Okay, where's the mark? G. It's red. Oh, okay, I couldn't see it. All right, okay, yeah. Perfect. All right, so uh, we had a good time tonight. We learned yeah. a lot. Yeah, we, we, we needed to. I need to do some more We reading needed about to expose the arc. I need to do some more reading about Lat's ability because uh, there is some debate on the forums. It looks like. Oh, really? About yeah. the about yeah. specifically concussion missiles Concu and well about and um, TLTs weapons that say attack blah. 
Yeah. Because now is that considered two attacks or is it one attack for the thing? And there's a lot of debate about it because of the particular wording of her ability and the wording of the attacks. Yeah. So I'll have to do some more research on that. Yeah. Uh, but potentially she could deal a cons or help deal a considerable amount of damage for cluster missiles or for TLTs. Yep. Yep. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, okay, we are going to be down at Triple Play on Monday. I have another Shadowcaster list that I'll be bringing down, and I'll be testing out probably another version of this. Uh, I'm not sure what Zealot's bringing, but it'll probably well, be fun and shenanigans. You know what? Um, You're going to do a modified version of this? I will. No, no. I'll just, like I normally do, I, I roll well, I with what I did on our Thursday night. I bring that list to, test to, to, to Monday night if somebody wants to play against it. And then I bring whatever second list that I have in my head. That, yep. Um, so, can I take your arc with me oh, then, totally. just so that you it's totally all together? Out. And then, because we know that your cards have no sleeves on them, yep. so that's Mine really are the unsleeved cards. So, that's, so that's that's easy. So of course we will be down at Triple Play on Monday. Definitely come down and see us there. And of course coming up really soon, uh, November the nineteenth, and I think the other one is the twenty sixth. Hold on, let me check my calendar. Come on, calendar, where are you? So yeah, the 19th is the tournament down at Triple Play. Come on down. We'll make you internet famous. Yep. Yep. Um, expect to be caught on camera. Uh, if you're if you're planning on winning, you're going to no, be in the final round. Don't. So if you're like, no, I don't want to be on camera, we will not record you. Yeah, we're not that's fine. We're that's not fine. Dicks. It's not a. It's not totally mandatory. Understand. Totally understand. Yeah, you know, if you're if you're there with your with your um, uh, mistress and you don't want to get busted. <laughs> we totally understand. My mistress is X-Wing. It's fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll be down. So we'll be down there on Monday. Definitely. Please come to the tournament on the 19th. Uh, there is lots of prizes uh, up for grabs. Uh, I don't exactly know the prizing yet, but we will talk about that next week here on the stream uh, and probably have some information on that from our recordings on Monday. Uh, and, and then, of course, another tournament on the 26th at Everything Games out in Langford. So lots of excellent is that, tournaments. Is that a Saturday? Out. That's a Saturday as well. Okay. <clears throat> so come on down. Check it out, guys. It's going to be awesome times. Awesome. Do you got anything uh, you want to say? Yeah. Keep your shtick on the ice. <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys. We will see you guys next time here on the channel. Ciao for now. <laughs>